they one time they took one and they let it crash on the moon and the moon rang like a bell for two hours <laughs> and they said it's hollow yep oh and my gosh. the earth is hollow too do you know that <laughs> let me tell you what let me here's a secret all planets are hollow and they won't tell you that but there's a government secret here's the thing about it well, where's volcano lava come out of it okay now listen it's empty. It's empty. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. You know how they told us the earth is full of molten lava and solid metal inside and all yeah, that? Yeah, volcanoes are proof of that. It's not true. The earth is hollow. There's a small. The reason you got the northern lights like they have is there's a small sun in the center of the hollow earth. And those northern lights is the radiation through the, north, through the opening in the North Pole. And uh, the Poles are open at the North and South Pole. Admiral Byrd flew in there in 1948. And uh, they keep it all real real quiet. If the Earth was the way they tried to tell you it was full of lava and solid iron, you wouldn't be able to get your feet off the ground if gravity would be so heavy. But here's the thing. Uh, there's lava down there, but they're like lava lakes. And they travel around on the Earth. And you get down about 100 miles and you hit how. And uh, the lava lakes are all around the globe. But it's just lava lakes. Huh. And there's a small sun down there. A small sun down there in the center of the earth. And there's civilizations living down there. Back to Africa. Yep. Yeah. And